In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between the native MCP node that's released by the NADN team and then the community MCP node that's also for NADN, but that was created by the community members. I'm going to talk about the limitations of both, when to use which one for a purpose. I'm going to give you a demo so that way you have a good understanding of how and when to use these two different nodes that are available out there. All right, without wasting too much time, let's just jump into the video. All right, let's go ahead and start with the native MCP node that's released by the NADN team. So I'm just going to go ahead and if I click on add first step, we'll just add a manual trigger. And then if I search for MCP, so this is the MCP server trigger that was released by the NADN team recently. This was a couple of weeks ago, or it might have been uh, even a couple of months ago. But essentially, this is a trigger that gives you the ability to attach multiple tools, uh, additional workflows, and you can interact with this directly from a third party app like a Claude. So for example, let me go ahead and actually bring in the demo that I did for this. I go to my community here and go to deep dive topics scroll to the bottom here so this was the node and i did a tutorial on this by the way a step-by-step -step tutorial so feel free to check that out but i just wanted to quickly show you guys what the difference is here so if i import from file now all right, so this is the MCP server uh, that the NADN team released. As you can see, this is a trigger. It has a URL that you can have access to it and you can change the path here. So you can add anything just like you would to your AI agent here. You can add your tools. You can add your things like a Pinecone Vector database. You can even add a an entire separate workflow that it has the ability to call, right? And you can uh, initiate or call the tools within this MCP server from your AI agent, just like you would uh, normally. But this time, instead of identifying or instead of uh, telling the AI agent which tool to use because it has access directly to the MCP server, all you have to do is just click or add this MCP client tool and you can interact with this just like you would and the AI agent will be able to utilize the MCP client node to be able to call these different tools that are attached to your MCP server, right? On top of that, you can, again, as I mentioned before, you can use like something like a Claude desktop app to have connection directly to these to the MCP server within your NADN workflow. So that way you can interact with all of the tools that are available inside the MCP server from your Claude desktop. And of course, this is just an example. You can uh, attach or you can have interactions with this MCP server from any other third-party application that has the ability to interact with an MCP server trigger. So that's a huge advantage to this. A big disadvantage is the fact that you cannot, as of right now at least, I'm hoping that the NADN team will uh, create an upgrade or provide an upgrade to have the ability for this to be able to interact with all the third-party MCP servers that are out there that we can have connection to or have access to via our community node. And that's where the huge advantage of the MCP community node comes in. So let me go ahead and bring that in. But for that, you have to obviously be at a, you have to be locally hosted because otherwise the community nodes is not going to work uh, on the cloud account and it ends native cloud account. I'm going to show you, I use Hostinger, which is my personal um, uh, one that I use, which is a VPS or a uh, cloud hosting. <clears throat> Essentially it's local hosting, but on a virtual server. So let me go ahead and show you how to install that. I'm going to put the link in the description. You can go ahead and check check that out. You can click on the link. It'll bring you right here. This is probably the easiest way to install NADN on a VPS or a virtual cloud server. So all you have to do is click on the link, come here. You can choose their KVM2 plan. This is probably the best plan that you can use because this is the best uh, deal that they have. And I use this personally as well. It gives you all of the, everything you need in order to run your NADN pretty easily. So once you come in, all you have to do is click on choose plan. <coughs> This will go ahead and load and bring up your card here. Uh, it's very easy. The only thing you have to do is select the period. I mean, if you want the best deal, obviously select the 24 months or 12 months. Um, and on top of that, uh, so you get obviously 61% uh, off. But on top of that, Hostinger has been kind enough to sponsor this video. They also gave us a additional 10% discount. So all you have to do is type AI workshop and click on apply. And this will give you an additional discount. So there you go. As you can see, now it's even an additional $16 off, which is honestly the best deal out there. So this is the easiest way uh, to install NADN on a virtual server. So that way you can have access to it from anywhere in the world. And it does come to be 
a lot cheaper because if you're using the cloud hosting, it's going to cost you $25 a month. I think that's the cheapest one. Uh, but if you use this, then it's it's only $6.30 um, 30 a month. So the only thing you need to do is literally search for NADN here. It will come up right here. All you're going to do is click on this, click on confirm, click on continue. You will leave the latency automatically. It will select uh, whatever location is closest to you. So go ahead and register for our account. I already have an account, so I'm just going to click on my account so I can log in. There you go. Perfect. So now you're going to go ahead and make the payment. Once you type in all of your information, you can go ahead and make the payment and then it will take you to your dashboard. Very, very simple. It's literally a few clicks and you have your NADN installed. So go ahead and make the payment and then it will take you to our homepage. All right. So once you make your payment and put in all your information, you'll be brought right here. So this is your homepage. This is where now you will have access to this NADN VPS right here as you can see the only thing you have to do is click on manage and this will bring you up to your dashboard and all you have to do is click on manage app and this will open NADN for you if this is your first time the only thing you have to do is sign in and go ahead and create your account and then you'll be brought back in right here where now you have the ability to essentially access just like you would uh, locally on your own machine but the advantage of this being that it can act, be accessed from anywhere in the world, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and bring over my uh, other community node MCP server. I think it was this one. Yep. I'm just going to bring this over, download, and go ahead over here. So this is the local hosted one now, or the VPS one. So if I just bring this over. There you go. So this is, uh, I did the tutorial on this step-by-step -step tutorial. Again, feel free to check that out as well, where I go through and show you how to exactly install all of this. Now, the great thing is with this locally installed MCP node, uh, you can have access to all of these additional third-party MCPs that are out there. So for example, if I click on, let me see here, MCP servers. Yep. If I click on this, this will take me to the link where all of these MCP servers by these companies are now available in the market. I mean, there's there's a huge amount of MCPs that are out there that right now it's and it's increasing on a day to day basis, right? So you have MCP servers literally from every possible company you could think of, like Appify, Alibaba, uh, um, Apollo, AWS, like Box, whatever you could think of. There's now an MCP server for it. So this was just this is just a simple demo. Uh, for the Firecall MCP and then also the Brief Search MCP. But again, the huge uh, advantage is the fact that you can have access to all of these MCP servers from the community. So that's a big, big advantage that you have that unfortunately the MCP server trigger that's native from the NA10 team. Unfortunately, there's no way right now to connect to all these MCP servers that are out there in the market that makes it extremely powerful, right? Because essentially the MCP or a modern contacts protocol is like a universal plug for your AI agent, right? So it makes uh, your workflows a lot easier to interact with, a lot easier to deal with. I mean, obviously it's still a young technology, so it's gonna it's gonna take some time for it to mature, but still it, it has a huge advantage right now because of the fact that you have access to all these third-party uh, MCPs. The disadvantage for these ones is for the local ones or this community ones is the fact that right now, at least I can't, I don't know if there's a way to use these from like a cloud desktop or a third party app. But again, as far as what, whether the benefits of it having access to all these third party MCPs outweighs, outweighs that negative of using with the cloud desktop or a third party app, that's totally up to your personal uh, preference. But I honestly think right now, as of right now, the community node is a bit more useful just because how I, you know, I really like the fact that you can have interaction with like a fire crawl or a brave or all these third party MCPs. So that's why I think right now it's a huge advantage. Hopefully the NADN team will update their MCP node, their native MCP node. So that way we can have an ability to interact with all these third party servers. Anyway, so hopefully I just wanted to make that quick video because I know a lot of people are asking this question. Hey, what's the difference between the native MCP node by the intent team and then also the community node, which one to use for which purpose? So hopefully this made sense and hopefully this was a little helpful. And if you're serious about learning AI agents and NADN in general, please make sure you join the community. I'm going to put the link in the description. We have a great uh, uh, set of people in our community, over 960 people who are passionate about learning NADN, how to monetize NADN, how to uh, use NADN for like local hosting, VPS, everything is there, including deep dive topics about all these complicated uh, 
topics and any then related information i also have a complete beginners course where i'll basically give you a complete guide from the introduction to how uh, ai automations work to step-by-step -step, uh, builds for beginners so make sure you check that out i'm gonna put the link in the description hopefully i'll see you on the inside thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one